Hey there, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris, and today we're going to talk about getting a Raspberry Pi onto Meadow Cloud. Full disclosure, I work for Wilderness Labs, and Wilderness Labs provides Meadow Cloud. That said, let's take a look at what I've got. You might recall from previous videos, I've got this hardware that I built that's got an accelerometer and a display on it, and I've got this Raspberry Pi Zero connected to it. What I'd like to do is from a remote application or from a web app or whatever, I'd like to deliver a command to this device to make it do something. I'd like that command to be delivered securely and without me having to do a whole lot of backend work. So I don't want to have to worry about creating all the connectivity pipeline and security pipeline and all of that. I'd like to just connect something, use an API and say, send a command to this. And Meadow Cloud is going to allow us to do that. In order to use a device with Meadow Cloud, though, what we have to do is we have to do a thing called provisioning. So we have to register this device with its security keys with the cloud. So let's take a look at how we would do that for a Raspberry Pi specifically. Now, this is a Pi Zero, but the process for a Pi 4 or a Pi 5 would be identical. So to start with, let's go over to the Meadow Cloud web interface. You can see this is my list of devices that it currently knows about. So what we want to do is we want to provision our Pi Zero so it shows up in this list. And then I can click on a device and do something like send it a command. So let's go over and provision this device. I've opened an SSH session to the device. First thing you have to have is you've got to have .NET installed. So I'm going to verify that. You can see here I've got .NET 8 installed. There are instructions, and I can leave a link down below for how you get this installed. I'm not going to go over all of that. The next thing we want to do for simplicity is we want to install the meadow.net tools. So that'll give us a meadow command line. So here is the command line. We run it, and it will install the meadow tools. This is a Pi Zero, so it's not the fastest thing in the world. But now I can type meadow and we'll get help. The next thing I want to do is I want to tell the command line the route to the device that it's going to interact with. In this case, I just want to talk to the device that the Meadow command line is running on. So I'm going to configure the route to the local device. Now I can ask it, what is the device info? And it gives us the device name, a little bit of information. One of the pieces of information here that's important is the serial number. We also need the public key for this device. So we can do device info and add this minus K to get the key. You can see here at the very bottom, this is getting the public key and it has no identities. This means that a public key has not been generated yet on this device. So what we'll do is we'll create a key pair using RSA. Just going to select the defaults here by hitting return. And now I can get the info again. This time you can see it gives me a public key. The two things I'm going to need here are this serial number and this public key. And the public key, I need it with the delimiters, the begin and end public key delimiters. The primary challenge with provisioning this Raspberry Pi is I have to log into Meadow Cloud in order to do device provisioning. And logging in is done through Okta, which is a web interface, and I don't have a UI, so I don't have a web browser on this Raspberry Pi. So that's why I need this uh, information from the device info that I can go to a device that has a web interface so I can log in and provision it. I know it seems a little bit convoluted, but right now that is the way that we do this. So I'm going to come and open another terminal. This is not the Raspberry Pi. So this is the Pi. This is my Windows desktop here. I also have the Meadow uh, commands installed here. First thing I want to do on the desktop is make sure that the Meadow tools are up to date. I can never remember the command, so I always do this. And I still did it wrong. There we go. So now we have the latest version of the tool. 
Now I'll log in, and this will launch a browser. Of course, it launched it in another display for me. So that launched the browser, and it was already logged in for me. Otherwise, you'll just get the uh, typical authentication, username, password page. Once we have logged in, now we can do a device provision. And here, this is where I need that serial number, the ID of the device, and the public key. So I'm going to add the ID, which is the serial number here. And then I need the public key. Again, with the delimiters. Because the output from the command line has all of these new lines, and if I paste this back in, it's going to cause trouble. I'm just going to clean this up and put them all on one line. Again, I apologize. This is not necessarily the most straightforward way to do it, but we're working on getting there. Now I can come back to this command line. And because there are spaces in this, I'll add the delimiter there. And of course, I'm in more than one organization because I have test accounts. This should be enough for most cases, but I have to add my organization Try that again. All right, it now says I have provisioned successfully. So now I can come back to the cloud interface and refresh this. And you can see the device is here. I'm going to edit this and name it. So now I have my Raspberry Pi Zero here. And if I need to send it commands, I can, for example, select it, send a command, and this will send it direct to the device. I'll do another video on exactly how that works, but the first step in using any of the Meadow Cloud features from a Raspberry Pi, or really any device, is to commission it. This is how you go about commissioning a Raspberry Pi, or really any Linux uh, embedded device that does not have a user interface that you can get a browser with. That's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. Hey there, small footnote. When I was editing this, I really didn't like the, all of the editing work that I had to do for that command, putting it into a text editor and, you know, assembling the command. So what I did is I went into the CLI and I added a new uh, option for the device provision command. Let me show you what that looks like now. Really simply, we do a meta device provision, and then we add this uh, dash dash gen command. And if you run that, it will generate the entire command for you. So now you can just select this, copy the whole thing, come over to your Windows machine, and paste it in. That'll be much, much easier. That's it. Thanks for watching.